going on guys it's brew guy 89 back at you we're talking about one gallon glass jugs today and uh, where can you get them and there's a lot of different ways you can acquire them and of course right in front of your face you see Carlo de Rossi's uh, wine these are one gallon glass jugs now this might not be the best wine in the world but you get a lot you get a lot of wine that you can sip on and then you also get a glass carboy well, or whatever you want to do. You can make it a primary fermenter if all you want. And you can get these stickers off pretty easy with some water. All you need is some water and a credit card. And it just comes right off. And that's how I've been getting mine. Now, my local brew store does sell glass one-gallon jugs like these. And they are $5. Now, I picked these up for $13 each. So, and again, these are one gallon. So, I mean, again, this is not the best wine in the world. I mean, it's drinkable. It's not disgusting. Uh, it's kind of sweet. I mean, this one is the first time I had this sweet red, which is, it's all right. And then Ryan, I never had Carlo de Rossi's Ryan, but I'm assuming it's going to be sweet. And I don't know. This one is 9%. The Ryan is 9%. And the sweet red is 8%. So, again, you get a gallon of wine for 13 bucks and a glass carboy. So let's just say I went to my homebrew store and bought one of these for five bucks. That's fine. I bought one of these for five bucks and then uh, eight dollars. What am I going to go do? Buy a 750 uh, milliliter bottle of wine while I'm waiting for my other one to become ready? I don't know. That's what I do. So instead of going and doing all that, I decided to pick up two of these at $13 each. And now what I got myself is two free glass carboys with time course there's a lot of wine in these fucking things so but uh, I already got one which I make an apple cider in and I got these two and I need one to siphon the apple cider out when it's done so I, I know I needed at least one so now I got an extra one you know I can go ahead and uh and, and start fermenting something else and then grab another one down the road or just go pay five bucks see the homebrew store where I'm at it's five dollars for a gallon or 425 for a half gallon glass jug and they were out of the glass jugs and my immediate thought was oh yeah those color little de Rossi's come in glass um bottles and I've seen some people buy orange juice in glass bottles I mean not orange juice apple juice I keep saying orange juice so I went to Walmart found me these and picked up two of them and uh, I'm working on them now I mean if I wanted to extremely get the process started I could go ahead and siphon these into 750 milliliter bottles and throw them in the fridge or something but I don't know I'm not in that much of a rush so uh, yeah these are actually pretty nice bottles they got a handle on them I noticed that the bottles uh, vary by region or I don't know if they vary by region but sometimes you'll go somewhere else and they're not the same bottle so save these lids because the lids go to each specific specific bottle because or a jug, not bottle, but uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, don't start screwing on a, any cap and trying to turn it upside down to shake your your sugar in there. And you might make a mess. So just be advised of that. And, you know, you got a little handle that's better than nothing. You know, because there actually is another wine company that makes jugs too. And they're not, um, they don't have no handle like that. So, uh, but in the area I was looking for, I found apple juice, but it was in a very, very small, like a pint glass jar or jug, and that was just not going to work for me. It's, it was $6 for like, uh, I was either, it might have been a quart, but I was really small. I'm assuming it was a pint. So, anyway. So that just gives you guys an idea how you guys can get some uh, one gallon jugs out there. Um, I mean, there's a lot of ways to do them, but I just told you, five bucks for the jug or $13 for some free wine and a jug, you know? And then you get a six and a half size bung and an airlock, and you're all set. You can start fermenting, you know, anything you want in these. And i really rather just use glass than, than plastic, you know? So it's fine to do a fermenting bucket when, you, when you've got, uh, you know, fruit going on and stuff. But if you're just working with juices and stuff, if you're not gonna use, if you're not gonna throw the, the fruit in there to ferment and you're just working with juices, you might wanna just get a small carboy. I would never put, I mean, I guess you can, but I would never put fruit in here because I don't want, I like to reuse these. 
I mean, for 13 bucks, I'm trying to get my money out of it. Anyway, guys, leave a comment. Let me know where you get your one-gallon jugs. Is it worth it what I'm doing? Or do you have a better plan for yourself? Let me know. And, uh, I mean, the wine's not... I mean, I think I can make better wine than this. I mean, some of them... Some, I never tried the Rhine. I tried the, the, the Moscato Sangria. And that was the most watered-down drink, alcoholic beverage I've ever had in my life. So, I mean, that's kind of sad to say. But nonetheless... You know, you get a whole gallon of glass jug that can be used over and over and over again. As long as you don't fucking drop it on the floor. So, hi guys. Thanks for tuning in to Brew Guy 89 We'll see you on the next one.